If you play Wright-Patterson Mahjong and you find that you question your decision making during the Charleston, there's an exercise you can do to help build your confidence. I call it Charleston Chain Reaction. Basically, you set up a hand, do the Charleston, pick a direction to go, and then do it again with the same tiles and compare results. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you're new to Wright Patterson Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do Charleston Chain Reaction. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'm going to take 14 tiles. And then I'll create a mock Charleston. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a six. Six is two south. Okay, so let's see what we got. Look at that mixture. We do have a pair of sixes though. Sixes, we have sixes in each suit. Let's see, sixes in each suit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was thinking middle chows. It's basically four, five, six in each suit, four, five, six mixed with a pair of threes. So I was thinking we could do maybe a two, four, six, eight hand evens, but we have no twos. So I think either try numbers or middle chows. Let me read try numbers to you. It's a number hand. Number hands are on page 22. Try numbers is number 39. Pungs are the same number in each suit with a pung and a pair of winds or a pung and a pair of dragons, which we're pretty shy on here. So we do have mostly dots, even though there's a pair in the crack there. Let's, let's discard these three first. But before we do that, I'm going to take a photo because we need to recreate this. All right, here we go. Let me take a photo. We got a keeper, a five. If we're gonna play middle chows, we need fours, fives, and sixes. We did pick up dragons. Let's discard these three. Okay, we'll take a photo of that. And we got a six, another six, six, six. I'm thinking we need to pick a hand because I don't want to pass like numbers. I think we could maybe play either double numbers, fives and sixes, or try numbers with dragons. So we really don't need the three. Let, let's give up the, the three and see what happens. Okay, we got a five. And three discards at the moment. So five, six, five, six, double numbers. I'd hold the, at least I'd hold the six for a while. So five discards, really. Let me read double numbers to you. It's very close to try numbers, but it's with two numbers. Two numbers punged in two different suits, the same two numbers, with a pair of winds or dragons. So we would need to pair those up, pair these up, or, you know, these. Or we could do try numbers with all sixes. That would be another option. I would start there and discard those. So let's 
try again and see if all dots is was better so really we have we can't keep all this so i'd say we have six discards so let's see if all dots would have been a better choice This is, oh, oh. There, that's how we started right there. So I'm thinking maybe all dots, winds and dragons, let's say all dots, winds and dragons, all dots, winds and dragons. One, two, three, five versus four and cracks okay let me set up the charleston okay so i'm still tempted to keep the sixes let's pass these three okay five nine red let's keep the red dots honors sixes let's pass these three we got a six okay i still think try numbers is good try numbers let's let's pass Let's pass these three. We'll give up one dot. We could recover from one tile. No keepers. Six discards, which is the same, same results, six discards. But try numbers is a double limit hand. We would need to pair this up, of course. Try numbers. We would need to pair up the dragons. We really have seven discards. I think double numbers was better. And try numbers, I mean uh, all dots, there's only one dot in there. So I don't think all dots was a good choice. So um, it was either double numbers or try numbers. So I think my instincts were correct. Double numbers I think had a stronger start. Let me know if you would have done something differently with those tiles, but I think a number hand was definitely the way to go. When you have a lot of mixed suits and multiples in the mixed suits, those number hands are really a good place to start. Try it yourself if you have a set at home and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction for Wright Patterson Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.